Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins and uh, I'm here in Atlanta for an investment seminar that I'm going to do um, uh, Sunday. Um, so you feel free to join us at drboyceatlanta.com. Uh, anyway, I was uh, thinking about this um, recent market drop. Um, if you want to know my opinion, um, I'm not big on panicking, uh, you know, whenever the market declines or, or takes a little dip. Um, it just happens, you know, you're going to have market declines all the time. In this case, uh, it was Trump induced because of the China trade war. But, you know, almost all market declines are induced by information, bad information, sometimes by choice, you know, decisions by government officials. It is what it is. Um, I don't enjoy it per se, but um, I think at the very least what it's going to do is it's going to shift the economic landscape. I think that, uh, you know, Trump ordering American businesses to find alternatives outside of China is a little bit problematic because what he's doing now is he's scraping at the muscle of the infrastructure of the economic relationships between China and the United States. So it's almost like the difference between you getting in a fight with your girlfriend uh, versus somebody saying you should go date other people. You know, the minute somebody says we should go see other people, then you have a different relationship. And that's what's happening here. The relationship between China and the United States appears to be fundamentally shifting, uh, which is going to affect the long term structure of the economy. It doesn't mean that money can't be made in the stock market, but um, I think that the world is worse off when they're not working together. Um, I do think at the same time that everybody's going to feel the pain, including Donald Trump. I think at some point they're going to work toward reconciliation, particularly given that in 2020 you got the election. He's going to put pressure on Jerome Powell to keep lowering interest rates so the economy is strong during his re-election campaign. So I think you're going to see an adjustment in 2020 in terms of him toning down the rhetoric. But, uh, you know, is there a recession coming? Probably. There's always a recession coming at some point. And, uh, you know, it's part of the business cycle. So keep being consistent and, uh, and you know, and, and investing is always going to be what it is. You know, it's sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So um, I'm not a big fan of freaking out and panicking. I think if you're doing a dollar cost averaging strategy, just, you know, keep doing what works for you, what makes you feel comfortable. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who invest in things like gold and precious metals to get ready for a recession. But the problem is that the same thing, the same way I could tell you, oh, go buy some gold because a recession might be coming. Well, other investors know that same information. So chances are that the price of gold has already reacted to uh, the fact that a recession is coming. And the only way the price will go up further is if there's even more confirmation of a recession coming, which uh, if we had the confirmation, then it would already be in, reflected in the price. So long story short, um, you know, you may want to add gold to your portfolio, but I'm not here to sit here and give you investment advice. I just want you to understand what's going on. It's, it's the conversation about the trade war that's really shaking things up. And also, I think Trump is frustrated because the Federal Reserve isn't working harder to cover up his, um, his challenges. I think he wants to go shoot down China economically and they're not giving him the ammo to do it. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Well, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins, I'm out of here. Um, I'll be in Atlanta all day long doing an investment seminar. I'll also be at the All Black National Convention. So you can go to drboyceatlanta.com or allblacknationalconvention.com to check it out. This is the room where we're gonna be teaching tomorrow. So uh, it's gonna be fun. See you guys soon, bye-bye.